There is a list of Nigerian celebrities who kept on working until their last breath. They never got the opportunity to retire because they died while working on a movie or television show. So today, I'm going to talk about those celebrities. But before then, if you're new to my channel, please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E-J-I-M-O-Z-Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me on Instagram. So let's get right into the video. On Tuesday, September 5th, 2017, the 27-year-old comic actor Okwichiku Jeku, popularly known as Bossman, suddenly died. He slumped dead during a movie shoot in Anambra State. Odira Mobi, a medical doctor, after observation confirmed that Okwichiku Jeku was asthmatic. The doctor, who is also a Hollywood producer, said that he thought that Okwichiku Jeku was acting for him while lying flat on the ground until he took a closer look noticed he was lifeless and then confidently announced his death. Before his death on September 5th, 2017, he has featured and acted in a lot of Nollywood movies, which includes Men of Wisdom, Papa Do Something, Ibu's Burial, and many more. Matthew Akali, a fast-rising Nollywood actor, Matthew Akali, popularly known as Bishop, died while on the set of movie production. The Kaduna State-born actor is known for his role as Dareng, in the African magic drama series Halita, Akali Matu had a blood clot condition for a long time, something he had managed with orthodox medicine, but he sought local tradition solution recently. Actually, he died this year, 2020. A Nigerian filmmaker, Dimbo Atia, who broke the news of his dismiss on Facebook, said that the actor died suddenly while he was filming on a set for an epic movie in a village near Kefi, Nasrawa State. Familiar Grants Media would like to send our deepest condolences to the family of Alkali Matthew, who played the role of Derang on the TV series Halita. He was one of our much valued cast, who died on March 24, 2020. This extremely sad event took place suddenly while he was filming on another set for an epic movie in a village near Kefi, Nasrawa State. This has to come as a rude shock to us all. And we pray that the Lord will grant his family the fortitude to bear this great loss. The actor died at the Federal Medical Center, Kefi in Nasrawa State. Clems Onyeka Clems Onyeka was killed by a stray bullet between the Nigerian police and armed robbers while driving to a movie location. This happened in Asaba Delta State on October 2014 at the age of 37. The robbers, according to reports, Tread a billion van in Benin Asaba Expressway through Summit Road before attacking it at DBS by UNI Foundation. But they were engaged in a shootout between which Onyeka was caught in while driving to a movie location with colleagues. He was married with three children. Harley Akbo, Nollywood actor, Akbo died in 2019 while on set. He is also a director and writer. He drowned in a swimming pool in a hotel in Asaba State, according to the Sun newspaper. The newspaper reported that he was at a film location shooting movies with other crew when he fell into the pool and died. It added that Apple may have drowned as a lack of swimming skills. Adding that by the time he was rescued from the pool, a lot of damage had been done. The commission of police in Delta State confirmed the incident. However, he did not give details of the cause of his death. That is why he fell into the pool. Now saying good. Nollywood actor Ezra Nelson, popularly known as Nelson Gould, died on 14 June 2018 at the age of 22. It was reported he slumped at a movie location in Enugu, Enugu State. He was rushed to the hospital, remained in coma until he passed on. Nelson died a few days after he celebrated his 22nd birthday on 5th June 2018. Nelson was a talented Nigerian actor and screenwriter who broke into Nollywood movie after playing the lead role of a movie titled Black Child, where he stayed alongside top-notch actors like Ebele Okaro, Obi Oji, Destinetiko, and many more. It made Nollywood producers to nickname Nelson Nollywood Mad Actor. 
following the mind-blowing performance he displayed in the movie. The movie Black Child launched Nelson into the movie industry after being produced in Nigeria by J.P. Mwanganga. Tom West J.T. Tom West died on 28 September 2006 in a ghastly motor accident. The unfortunate incident happened when the actor and two of his colleagues were returning from a movie location after shooting late in the night. The movie, which never saw the light of the day, was a collaboration between Michael Ufonye and Teddy Samorin. Tom West was the handsome and talented actor who was consistent for his role in the action genre of Nollywood. His career ambitions were tragically cut short when he died at the age of 52. He joined the Nollywood movie industry in 1992. He rose to fame after acting in the blockbuster movie titled State of Emergency, a movie produced and directed by Taku Benson. Day the One Day Day the One Day died after he slumped while performing in a bar following a complication of hypertension. The unfortunate incident happened on December 13, 2015 in Aba Abia State. They the one they accord for a program for one Mr. Charles Esonu in Aba. From there, he went to Ugunabo for another program he was paid to anchor as Master of Ceremony. But he couldn't conclude that event as he fell sick and was rushed to the hospital. The actor died late that night. No doctor has been able to figure out the cause of the problem. He was buried in his mansion in Imo State. The comedian built the mansion a while ago and did not even get the chance to live there. The opening ceremony was to be held on December 24, 2015. Now he can only enjoy the beautiful building only looking down from heaven. Chinedu Iwaza Iwaza, who was the leader of Seven Star International Band, collapsed and died while performing in his hometown in Anambra State. He is said to have suffered cardiac arrest while on stage that led to his unfortunate death. Until his dismiss, the prominent Igbo singer was a member of Inhoma de Aguago musical group. He was well known in the East for his numerous hit songs like Disney can be delayed but can't be denied, Inhoma de Aguago, among other songs. <laughs> A member of his music group, Shabak Nelson, who shared the photo roots. Music industry has lost another superlative legend again. The singer of Inhoma de Aguago and the leader of Seven Stars International Band, Chinedu Iwaza, died on stage while performing. A ripe great singer. Thank you very much for having time to watch my video to the end. I have a question for you in the comment section. Which of these Nigerian celebrities that shook you? Drop your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. Thank you very much and God bless you.
Like, it's your queen to be. Why well, they have to tell her? Shout out to her. One love. Show her some love. Shop light. It's a boy, it's a boy,